Hello dear Master Puppet. And me, Jakob Lord of Malt. Today's beer is another new and spear. It's from the, Wales. From Wales. It's the Cave Beer Stout. Uh, cave Bear. Cave, cave Bear. Not stout. Cave Beer. <laughs> it's on uh, 4.0%. 4, 4, 4. Uh, no. 4%. 4%. Out. 4%. Out. Yeah. It's a traditional stout. Uh, they say themselves it's uh, an Irish stout, uh, maybe an Irish dry stout, but by the looks of it here, uh, if you hold it up to uh, the bottle up to the light, it looks more or less like maybe an USB even. Yeah. But we'll see, we'll see. It says here on the side of the bottle, Newman's Cape Bear Stout is a vibrant Irish stout based upon original recipes developed within the heart of the Celtic Island. The stout is rich, dark and full-bodied with some residual sweetness. The burnt coffee aroma is balanced by a strong hop finish, a must for all dark ale and stout drinkers. And then, Cape Bear Stout, it's beautiful, smooth and rich stout with a fine coffee aroma. There's like a small section where it says, brewed in the historic Welsh town of Caerphilly by one winning Welsh brewers. And then the stuff I just said, but whatever. Really like the label on here, that's a bear roaring. Again, that was one of the reasons that made us choose these beers. But uh, should we crack it open? Yeah. See what this stout is about. They call this a stout. It's not black. No. It's like ruby red. Pretty dark though still. Probably to you guys it probably looks black. But it's like more like a ruby red. Yeah. But well, let's check out the aroma. I don't know, wait, first off, the head is a, again like this off-white. Tan, yeah, uh, yeah. slightly tan. Yeah, do get the roasted mouth. Yeah, slightly burnt now. Smells a bit like a dry stout. It's yeah. Not a very big aroma, like, like Irish dry stout. But the, the color just just didn't really match. Roast some more, maybe some dark fruit. What do you get? Yeah, the the dark fruits you mentioned are a little fix kind of notes. Yeah, oh, some greenness to it, but I guess that's the mix of. The, the malts. It smells like when you brew beer, the mash when you uh, put malts in. It kind of smells like that, along with the roast and more malty notes. But very mild aroma. Yeah. Should we check out the, the Cave Bear Stout? And you, cheers. cheers. Not that stout, like, not at all. Flavor from a little with a roasted malt. Yeah. It's, I'd say it tastes a bit like a blend of an ESP, a mix of an ESP and a stout. More like that than a stout. Yeah. The, the whole show has some brown ale kind of notes to it. Yeah, actually, it does. Uh, what would you call the body of it? It's light, light to medium. Yeah. It's very, very... Well, like dark stouts, very yeah. light to medium. Um, the flavor, you get that slightly burnt roasted ball. Yeah. The graininess, like the type of graininess you sometimes get, uh, times get in brown ales, as you say. What do you get? A little, very, very subtle, again, licorice. Yeah. The uh, aromas. I also get a very subtle coffee. Yeah. This. The mouthfeel, though, is actually, it's, it's slightly dry, but it's sli got a slightly watery mouthfeel. And I, I, like Guinness, I think Guinness is watery. It's got that creamy texture, mouthfeel, some say. Well, that's only because of the nitrogen ingredient. If you get, at least if you get the canned version, I, I think that's watery and light. Yeah. I'd say this tastes actually a little bit has a little bit more taste than Guinness, even though it doesn't look like a, an Irish style at all. I, I would think I would call this a brown ale or um, an ESP. Yeah. Maybe more brown ale because it's got those slightly toasted, maybe slightly nutty notes. Yeah. It, it doesn't have much in ESP. You, yeah, it got, it's got some of the fruitiness from that ESP maybe, but that's about it. More towards the brown ale. Yeah. What a decent beer. Yeah, yeah it's still solid. Mm. Very drinkable. Four percent. You can easily session this. Yeah. There isn't anything really putting me off at all. No, uh, haven't got any metallic notes or anything. Um, got a slight bit of flavor from the hops. Yeah. Maybe a slight grassy hops hop note. But mostly just a slightly toasted, maybe roasted malt, and very faint, subdued licorice and faint, subdued coffee. But rating-wise, what grade would you give this? It's not anything special at all. Oh, it's not any, anything special at all. So I'm landing at a 48. It's, it's almost bordering up to the. I'm actually going to say I think it's it's a little bit above, above average. I, I don't mind it. I, I don't think it's great in any way, but. It's not bad. I, I'm gonna go 55. I actually think it's a solid brew. 
Bob Everidge. Not anything you should seek out, really, but if you want any of the beer so far, check out the Red Stag. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that was pretty good, thanks to you for a bit or so. 55 from uh, me and a 48 from Jakob for the uh, Newman's Cave Bear Stout. Let us know what you think of the beer if you've had it, and as always, remember to comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And we're going to see you in another beer video.